Frankenstein here. So I am going to do a really quick unboxing. Um, I bought two Garbage Pail Kids blind boxes. Uh, I got them from Zing Pop Culture. Um, and these ones are actually series two. Um, I didn't have any luck finding series one when it was released. Um, I know I can get some off eBay. I've been eyeing a few off, but I haven't picked any up yet myself. Um, but I saw these at Zing. You can see that they're $10 each. Um, a little bit, I guess... Honestly, like, for blind boxes, I feel like upwards of $10 is fairly pricey. Um, so when I saw these ones for $10, I was like, okay, I'm just going to get two because I really, really want them. Um, and like I said, amongst the blind boxes, these are actually, like, cheaper ones. Um, for example, if you want the Toki Doki... Uh, Mermacornos here in Australia, they will set you back $18. So they're really expensive. But anyway, um, yeah, so I bought two of these. What I've done is I've gone ahead and opened it because I'm filming this obviously with one hand. So I need one hand free to pull the toys out of the boxes. Um, I've gone and opened the bags inside them as well. Um, just to make it easier to grab them out, but I haven't actually seen who I have. So, um, we'll take a look now and we'll see who I got. Just, um, one other thing as well. I actually picked up a, um, a Mr. Sparkle mug. This one's for Tim. Um, but I got this from pop culture, uh, pop culture. I got this from Zing as well. Um, and it was just, I love like uh, I just love Homer and um yeah we love Mr. Sparkle so I picked him that up but anyway getting back to the main point of this video which is the Garbage Pal Kids so two blind boxes um I'll show you the back of them super quickly too just so you know um so there's one out of 12 chance of getting each of the figures so it's fairly um fair I guess but, uh, yeah, look, they're pretty much the characters you can get. And I really, I really like Eerie Eric and Split Kit and Beastie Boyd. But, oh, uh, and Richie Rich is kind of, well, they're all pretty cute. They're all pretty gruesome and gross, but I like them all. So, anyway, let's not wait any longer. Let's find out which, uh, which Garbage Pile Kids I got. We'll start with this box here. If I can grab it out. I, oh, they're so big, like, as well. They're real big. Oh, I got the little, um, the little fly girl. The little fly girl. I don't know what her name is. Let me just check on the back again. Buggy Betty. She's cute. I, the thing about these Garbage Pail Kids is they're so ugly that they're cute. And that's what I like about them. Um, but yeah, let's check out the second one and see what I got. Hang on, if I can do it. I got, oh, I got the little Kong kid. Wait, I gotta find out what his name is. Hang on a sec. Oops, now he's falling down. Kim Kong. Oh, it's a little girl. Okay, I think it's a little girl. I know Kim can be a boy's name too, but there you have it. Buggy Betty and Kim Kong. They're so cute. Now I have to get all of them. Um, but yeah, Garbage Pile Kids, for those of you who might not be familiar with them, um, originally they were a thing back in the 80s. They were uh, trading cards. Um, and I guess they were a bit of a rip on the Cabbage Patch Kids, which were all really, you know, super cute. And, um, you know, I, I think I had, I actually had a Cabbage Patch Kid when I was little, but the Garbage Pile Kids were meant to be the, um, the opposite of them. And they were all gross and, um, yeah, they're kind of gross cute. So I'm really happy with these two. I can't wait to get more. I'm definitely going to get some more. So next time I do, um, I will do an unboxing, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So I got these again, all at Zing, um, which is a store, pop culture store here in Australia. Um, yeah. And I think that's about it. They're my two little garbage pal kids. They're super cute. I'm going to put them somewhere in my room, probably on my side table. So yeah, that's it you guys. Until next time, I am Natty Frankenstein and I will see you later.